Hey, welcome, Blockchain Wayne here. I'm gonna show you in this video how to set up the Coinomy wallet, and then we're gonna go through in the next few videos, show you how to set up your FIO name and send FIO requests using Coinomy. So we're showing you the desktop version here. There's a desktop and a mobile version. All you do is from Coinomy's website, you hit download, and it'll show you all the downloads that are available. So when I hit that, you're gonna see I can do it for Android, iOS, it's in the Google Play Store, App Store, We'll have a separate video to show you how to do it on mobile. You come on down and for Mac, if you're using an Apple computer or Windows, we're on a Windows computer. So I'm gonna hit download here and it's gonna start the process. I will then save that to my desktop. And that is done downloading. We're gonna open it up. And we're gonna go through all the agreements and everything. It's gonna make you go through the licensing agreement, say that you accept it. Hit next, where do I wanna install it at? and create a desktop shortcut. Typically the defaults will walk you through the basic settings unless you wanna move it somewhere else. Okay, now that the setup's been complete, we've installed it, now we're gonna go through the installation of it. This gives you the option to either restore an existing wallet or create a new wallet. So if you have an existing wallet, whether it's Coinomy or another wallet you want to restore here, you can import that information or you can create a new wallet. We're gonna to go to create a new wallet and we're gonna set it up here. Okay, at this point it's gonna give you your seed phrase. This is your recovery phrase. Do not share this with anybody. Do not show it with anybody. The only reason I'm showing it to you here is because this is just a test wallet that's gonna be deleted after. So you're gonna to wanna to write this down in a secure place. Do not store it online on a computer. Do not store it in the notepad on your phone. Save it in a written place, uh, preferably in a fireproof safe, somewhere that's safe and secure because you'll need this to restore the wallet if anything happens to it. So I will then say I've stored my recovery phrase and then I will hit next. Now it's given me the option, as you can see here, to verify that I've written it down properly and saved it. So I'm gonna go through that process. Okay, I've verified that I've put in all the words correctly in the right order, so I hit confirm. Okay, so now we're gonna enter our password Set a secure, strong password. It has to be at least 10 characters for the coin of me wallet. So I'm gonna do, all right, and I will hit okay. And now I wanna select the coins that are gonna be supported in this wallet. This can give you a list. You can go down, you can add. You can always add these at a later time. So let's just add a few Bitcoin Cash and we're gonna add Fio, of course. So at this point, we're gonna add Fio to it as well. We're gonna hit next. It's gonna ask you to go through the legal disclaimer, basically letting you know that this is a private key wallet. You're responsible for your own security. I will accept that. And we've got a great user interface here with the Coinomy wallet. I have an overview. You see the wallet, exchange, gift card. So everything is now set up in the wallet. So stay tuned in the next video. We're gonna show you how to set up your field name and utilize the FIO protocol. See you in the next video.